Hello, hello, my beautiful air signs. Hello, Aquarius. Hello, Gemini. Hello, Libra. Welcome to your love reading for the month of April of 2024. I want to thank you for joining me here and just letting you know that we've got the individual love readings for April on Patreon. You can get the link beneath this video. So I will be taking one romance angel for each of the signs, one for Aquarius, one for Gemini, one for Libra, and then we'll see what's beneath the deck. That will be the general message. So let's see what's going on. Karma Dharma for air element in the month of April, which is a month of that total solar eclipse, Mercury retrograde, quite a challenging month. So let's see, dear spirit, thank you for your advice. Air element in the month of April. Make sure you check out your sun, moon, rising, your Venus, your Mars and your north node if you are familiar with your placements. So what is the Karma Dharma for air, the air element in April? Or I suppose whenever you get to view this message could be more important for you personally. And we've got Aquarius, the star and heal. So it looks like the air signs are going through some healing. Um, the star does speak to a wish fulfillment and hope, but obviously the fact that it's asking um, for healing and we see the chains that are broken. Some of you are letting go of past wishes, something that did not pan out for you possibly. And you're healing yourselves. Um, this is breaking free, breaking out. But also any, any chains, any limitations that were holding you back relative to this wish fulfillment playfulness comes through and I did not mention which sign so to recapture romance allow you in a youthful spirit of fun to shine I don't know if some of you may be dealing with a Leo that's my Leo energy of fun some of you have been very restricted relative to fun and romance in your lives so okay dear spirit potentially for Aquarius what is the message the love message for Aquarius in this month of April love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and the fact that we do have the star which is Aquarius energy very strong message for Aquarius you are breaking free moving towards your freedom for some of you if you've been in a connection where the love was not equal it was not reciprocated um, possibly also a disappointment of a wish fulfillment something that never came someone tried to keep you in an, um, a, a situation where they did not reciprocate the love uh, your lesson here is to love yourself first self-love this way you can attract new love Dear Aquarius, let's look at the next sign, Gemini. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Now, I don't know if it's a marriage for your future or a marriage that you could be leaving. It could go either way. Remember, this is a general reading. What about for Libra, dear spirit? For Libra? Libra? What is the message for Libra we've got getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so Libra is getting to know their person and their bond is um, deepening let's see what the general message is we've got make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take Religious factors have been an issue in your love life or your beliefs have gone through changes. Remember that the star card comes after the tower moment. Now we do have some blessings. Uranus, which is obviously the ruling planet of Aquarius. Um, so very importantly for Aquarius especially, is connecting with Jupiter. 
And Jupiter does speak to justice, truth, wisdom, but Uranus is also something that we do not expect. We cannot predict, but it can speak also to sudden changes and tower moments. Jupiter can also speak to separation because of an injustice. Deception, masks being worn. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship about what they believe. You could be dealing with someone that comes from a different part of the world or they uh, believe in different things that what you, of what you believe in. Now Spirit says you may be making an effort. Some of you are going to make the effort, some others of you are going to break free. Um, I do get with the make the effort, very much like the soulmate, six of cups, energy. Some of you have been in a relationship for a long time. You may also have children where you're making the effort. But also this could speak to freedom within a an existing relationship for some of you, where you're fighting for your freedom. And remember Aquarius is truth. Some of you are showing your true colors and you're really getting to know yourself, each other, through speaking truth. So, let's see what's going on for my air element, please, Spirit. What is going on for Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Remember Mercury is retrograding, which will bring back situations and people from the past. Dear Spirit, thank you for your advice. The air element in April. What's going on in the now? We've got the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, father, business owner, Dependable, responsible, usually when they're in the upright. Um, slow moving, experienced. Someone who focuses very much on stability, can offer stability. He's the minor arcana of the emperor. Okay, so you could be dealing with an earth sign or just someone that's got their own business. Someone that will give you security, gave you or didn't give you, we'll see. Now remember that Jupiter and Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus, they're meeting up in Taurus, which is an earth sign. So it's getting you uncomfortable, getting you out of your comfort zone. You're needing to make the adjustments. Let's see, uh, deep past, four of cups, emotionally not being happy. Your cup not offered, sorry, your cup, Your cup not accepted or an offer not having come in or someone emotionally unhappy. What is crowning you? The chariot, which speaks to transition, change, moving towards victory, a house move. Decisions, lots of decisions and things being up in the air. Movement, being at a physical distance, overcoming obstacles, recent past. King of Swords, Aquarius, this is you, more than likely. Now, was it the, it was the water element, I think, yeah, that had the King of Swords in the same position. For some of you, there could be two different people here. Very different in, in energy. Of course, King of Swords, um, more air, more logic, more communicative not so vulnerable, not so open in love. Not to say that the King of Pentacles, they would show their love through actions, uh, but you know that they're more dependable and they're more grounded, whereas the King of Swords is someone that would need more communication, clarity. They look at relationships from a mathematical point of view. Do they, can they stand, can they be logical? Whereas the King of Pentacles, you know, through their service, through their acts of kindness, 
um, that's how they show you that they can give you the stability through sharing, sharing their finances. All right, this could be for some of you, could be a same sex relationship here as well. Let's see what the possible outcome is. All this is a choice. This could be competition. Oh my goodness, what came out as the outcome? The Ten of Swords. Something is ending, no doubt, here. Now, let's not say it's not going to be the same for all of you. We've got, we've got a person that is more grounded, more about practical matters, more stable. And we've got a person that is more about the communication, the logic, quite cold in showing their emotions. Very, very different, very different, uh, probably beliefs, but also ideas. Yeah, very different in energy. So the Ten of Swords as an outcome card says that the worst is coming in April. Something is needing to end. There's been a lot of darkness. There's been an emotional lack of happiness. Um, a lack of stability, a lack of good communication, a lack of sharing and caring. That means that something is over. Um, now we've got some cups here, but it's the four of cups and we've also got cancer, which cancer does rule the fourth house of someone's personal life, matters to do with the past that will be coming up, matters to do with family, finances, emotions, truths betrayals what is at the foundation eight of swords and we've got breaking free out of this mental prison out of this prison of feeling like you are stuck we see it's the eight of swords so i feel that it's my air signs that are going they're looking at practical matters they're looking at things from a detached point of view from a very clear point of view and a practical point of view something is ending here there's something that you cannot put up with anymore obviously for Aquarius the love was not reciprocated so some of you are starting to love yourselves um, Gemini could be coming out of a marriage unless unless there has been betrayal remember these could these two people could be in competition we don't see we do not see a because we've got yang energy we don't see a yin energy we don't see a female we don't see uh, the third person now it can be a third party situation obviously because we've got two different kings um, but it can also be, if it's not a third party situation, then possibly it does involve marriage. Remember the King of Pentacles is the father, is the husband, the spouse. And what's crowning you is the chariot, which is trying to overcome obstacles but also decisions made for change you're in transition you're in transit you're moving um remember that the charioteer has got the stars above his head he's following his wish fulfillment the stars which are also here and the stars speak to hope they speak to truth they speak to getting detached they speak to something that they've always wished for and in the way of someone's wishes is an ending. Now, the getting to know each other relative to Libra, there will be a lot of revelations, which can be very challenging, but they can also be very freeing. Remember the Ten of Swords turns into the Ace? Of course, that will speak to all of the um, air signs. This is an Ace of Swords, which could be a double-edged, hurtful sword but it 
is the sword of truth. Let's take more advice and see what's going on. What is going on for the air element in the month of April or whenever you view this message? We've got flexible. Now, logically, this would be Aquarius. This is Taurus. They're fixed signs. So the advice is to be more flexible. If you're hoping to and you're making the effort, if you feel that this is great love, whatever challenges you're facing, you need to be flexible. Um, and it's a number 19, which does equal a 10, it t equals an ace as well. So I don't know if some of you are dealing with a mutable sign, another mutable sign, which could be um, Gemini, Pisces, Sagittarius or Virgo, or you've got that in your chart. There's something about flexibility, uh, running with the punches, let's say. Okay, what is beneath here? We've got the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, a lot to do with trickery or even communication, uh, logic. Remember that the stars align. Uh, Mercury was not contained. He had the ability, Hermes, had the ability to travel to the, you know, the depths of... Uh, of the underworld, but also to the heights of the sky, right? Um, so you cannot contain Mercury. It's like we cannot contain the mind. The mind runs faster than our actions. There's something to do with, because we've got a seven and an eight, and then we've got the ace between that. Seven is the chariot, eight is strength. The changes will come through trust, through finding and figuring out, being intelligent and figuring a way out of this prison. Whatever this means for you, even if there's been trickery, the stars will align to help you take off those blinders. And that will be through communication, through um, through conversation. Remember the Seven of Cups is Pisces. It's things being up in the air. There's a lot of illusion. But there is a possibility for a new beginning um, through great intelligence, through tact, um, also seeing through the illusion. And remember that Mercury is also... It's, it's mechanical. I mean, Mercury is within us. Mercury does exist within us. We can all take the position of the magician and pull a rabbit out of a hat. This is through logic, through intelligence, through help of the help of information, communication coming from others. Remember, it speaks to having all the tools to make the magic, to get out, out of this self-contained prison. We've got the Ace of Wands here. Ace of Wands is a very, is a card of sexual connotation. Now we don't have fire here at all. We don't have fire. Fire is inspiration, it's creation. It's, it's that drive, it's that inner fire, that inner drive. We've got, we've got a lot to do with emotions, practical matters, but also logic information let's see let's take some Ellen Norman and see what's going on what's going on for my air element please spirit we've got a window of opportunity it does not last long you've got to grab it quickly now it's the six of pentacles which is a very karmic card for me even though this is a jupiterian moment of opportunity and we've got jupiter and uranus um, that are coming together and bringing some blessings for all of us um, the six of pentacles is like a equal giving and receiving it's a very karmic uh, card it could also speak to possible separation legalities 
but also a karmic return, karma dharma returning. We've got the dice, which could be someone that's uh, someone having taken a risk, someone having taken a gamble, um, someone having a choice. It's like we've got a couple of twos here, and twos speak to separation, but they also speak to coupling up decisions. Because anyway, this turns, it is a 12, which equals a three. So we go two and three, transitioning from the high priestess, let's say, to the empress. Uh, two's company, three is a crowd. And, wow, we go straight to the six, which is, six is like the uh, lovers. Um, a window of opportunity and needing to take a gamble on love. Um... On matters of heart, remember the heart speaks to Sun in Leo. This is being confident. The Sun in Leo, it's like nothing's hidden. Nothing is hidden. Everything is going to be aired. Remember here there's a lot of darkness, but it turns into the Ace of Swords, which is clarity. Um, someone ready to take a gamble on love and someone taking a risk, there will be an opportunity to make a choice and choose from the heart, but also detach, um, free yourself up. If you've been dealing with someone that was not flexible, was not giving, was not um, willing to cut some slab, to try things differently, to do the work, let's say, because, you know, um, fixed energies could be very, there could be a lot of ego here. Something doesn't work. We've got fixed energies and we've got flexible energies. If someone cannot change, shape shift and become more flexible, then it's, it's a one way, one way street. Let's see what this is. We've got a Queen of Wands. I did say that we didn't have fire and we didn't have a queen. But here is the queen. Um, very fiery. Very strong fire. Passion. Now she holds Venus on her chest. So therefore we could be talking about Libra. We could be talking about Taurus. Strong in her chart. I do see her. She could be like more, more so as fire. She's very sexual. She's, she's going to chase. She will also... Trust, she trusts her intuition, but she also creates. It's like she desires to, yes, yeah, she's going to take, she's going to take a gamble on love because this is what she desires. She's following her heart. And yes, it, she can be a Leo because she's sitting on a Leo card. And number 11, it's like a portal of opportunity. She may be noticing signs and synchronicities. I don't know if this is you. Signs and synchronicities, number 11, is never easy. It's like a portal that opens, but it's never easy. She wants her justice. She wants the person that's going to reciprocate. What she's given, she was waiting on the, on the reciprocation of that. So it's interesting. And we've got the moon. The moon can speak to a secret love connection, a deep secretive love connection a possible secret love affair as well now we've got the moon so the moon speaks to moon in cancer something going on during the night time she it's as though she's been desiring or she's been fearing or she's been fantasizing this could be um this could also be one of these kings with those emotions pertaining to this queen of wands. We know that she's a go-getter. She's very driven. She's very driven. She does not hold back. She could also be a mother, yes. So has some responsibilities, but I'm gonna say also, it's as though she's trusting her intuition and looking, she's probably gone into her psyche as well, um, doing the the work pertaining to fears that she can follow her heart. 
This could speak to communication during the night time. The, the letter can also possibly speak to breaking free a contract, a possible separation and divorce or hearing news about that during the night time. The, the moon does speak to the home, to the past, to her personal life, but also matters connected to the past that Mercury retrograde brings to us. There are restrictions and limitations um, and also fears, but also solitude and loneliness. Feels like a risk is going to be taken relative to the heart and that risk is going to bring the changes. It's going to break, it's, it's going to break those chains, those limitations, even if it's going through the darkness, going through an ending. Let's see what's going on with the psyche. Now, if she's a Leo, my beautiful Aquarius, if this is you and she's a Leo, then she's your karmic opposite. So an opposition is never easy, of course. But, you know, an opposition can also be finding my other half. So it will not speak the same to all of you. Remember this is a general reading. Some of you could be ready to take a risk. You haven't been showing your true emotions, but you're ready to take a gamble and open up your heart and communicate. Also pertaining to what you've been holding back on information. It could be that you're receiving the information or you're sharing your information with someone. Let's see what's going on for the air element. We've got a union here. Cycles, Saturnian blockages, limitations and lessons, a mirroring image of you and your other person, you and your the person you're either attracting in or someone that you were in a union with. Uh, someone that, I mean, the union speaks to happiness. So possibly in the past, there was happiness. Some of you have gone through Saturnian lessons. In this cycle, because you've done a few cycles and know that whatever you're feeling, your person is feeling as well, um, there will be changes in this cycle. I don't feel that you'll be doing the same cycle again um, because this is the, you know, set, this is Saturn, the Lord of Karma and Timing. Now, obviously, Saturn rules Aquarius, but also Capricorn, so that could be relative to you. For Aquarius, this could be uh, an end of a major lesson cycle. Um, you've learned the lessons. You're reinventing your life. Maybe you've been hoping and waiting on another earth sign that's coming in. Unless you stayed in and you were very patient, which air signs are usually not patient, you may also have earth in your, you may have um, earth as your ascendant. So you may also hold some patience, but I don't know, maybe some of you have been waiting on an earth sign. Maybe you've connected with an earth sign. You could be reinventing your life with an earth sign. Let's see. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. Now, could be, could be that this queen, this feminine, could also hold earth in her chart. Mm. Could be Taurus, could be any earth anyway. Um, but the answer is yes. You know that fire is more active. It's not the energy of the patience. Someone's been waiting for the right moment to reinvent their life. They've gone through many cycles. If, for some of you, you're attracting, you're attracting your other half. That's what I get with the mirroring. But also any faults or any challenges or any hardships in a past relationship. I feel that you both went through some sort of lesson um, where you're both possibly also, you've received the lessons now and you could be moving on. Because remember, fire creates, but fire also um, 
um, extinguishes and brings changes. Numbing. Numbing is not an easy card. Pisces comes through. Numbing is um, something very painful. The answer is no. Some of you, um, those of you that um, have not been happy, we see someone here um, where the, the limitations and the closed door and the no's and the no communication or the we're not sharing anymore, we don't care anymore, we've split, we've grown apart, whatever it is, has brought a lot of numbing and someone could be, you know, the pain could be so drastic and the numbing does remind me of Pisces, so secret love affairs. The pain could be so drastic that someone is needing um, help, whether it's looking for, you know, to numb the pain through alcohol, through medicine, whatever it is. Big dreams, a lot of illusions, a lot of illusions feels like the, it feels like the rose colored glasses are coming off after the big dreams which is this is what I dream of this is what I'm visioning this is what I'm praying and hoping for Jupiterian changes or even a huge illusion or even something that I've been envisioning hoping to create the answer was no you had to do quite a few cycles and it got really really difficult but I would say through difficulty that's when the changes happen so this is what is promised by air signs. Divine timing will bring endings, changes and big dreams that can manifest as long as you believe. But also in divine timing, when Kronos, when Saturn, when Saturn says, yes, this can happen. The timing is now. Let's see. Why do we have the King of Pentacles here? Some of you may be letting go of someone that was just very, um, very goal orientated. Someone not, not, not affectionate, not, not there for you. Someone very, uh, very business orientated. Someone that was quite narcissistic or self-centered um, and some of you have been patient and waiting on someone that will be there someone that will be spending their time with you and not only in career not only for the money let's see what this king of pentacles speaks to who would be someone that could give you security um, someone that would be there we've got the six of wands Yes, this is success because someone is going to be there for you. Someone's going to be stable. Your patience can also bring success where love is concerned. This could also be someone that's very popular, very successful in their life. Now for others of you, the Six of Wands, yes, which is Leo energy. This could speak to strong ego as well. So Leo um, and Earth, which brings me back here sometimes. I did mention Earth and Fire. I don't know. I mean, some of you could be leaving an earth sign for a fire sign. Let's take one more on that six of wands. A possible new beginning. This could be tears of joy or tears of sadness for me. A bittersweet new beginning because it does entail an ending. And first of all, self-love, self-respect and loving yourself first is what's necessary before you're ready to start to date okay and we see tears here but someone hiding their tears there's too much ego involved here ego speaks to fixed signs obviously um earth also got the same message same card so you may want to check out the Earth reading. Let's have a look at the Four of Cups. Someone being unhappy emotionally in their home, in their life. Three of Pentacles. 
and the Hierophant. This could be because the Hierophant does speak to does speak to marriage, but the Hierophant also is a spiritual connection. Okay, threes, three pentacles. This could be something around work, someone having been offered another cup. Maybe they were open because, remember, the four of cups comes after the three, which could, again, speak to third parties, external um, influence. The ace of cups, they're looking at it, and it's here. Missed opportunities in the past. Having connected with someone... Um, that you hold the same beliefs on or spiritually. Where marriage is concerned, Three of Pentacles is an initial stage of success, but it's not like the Ten of Pentacles where you found your bliss or the Ten of Cups. We've got the Four of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So, again, possible third parties. Why do we have the King of Swords? We've got the Knight of Wands. I would say Aquarius, if you're coming out of a past relationship, you've been very patient. Some of you are ready to, to start to get out, to, to free yourselves. You are following your desires. For others of you, your competition, dear Aquarius, if there was another person, your competition could be someone that lives at a distance, someone that travels for work, and someone that's a go-getter, someone that um, is chasing. I mean, they're very, you know, that they're, they've got fire beneath their belly and they don't sit around. They take action. This is action and not only communication, which is the King of Swords. Let's take one more. And we've got the Six of Pentacles. So... Some of you are also thinking of possible separation, divorce, or money you're going to have to pay out, or maybe also, especially for Aquarius, could be any of you, air signs, you're ready to take action and connect with someone that's going to reciprocate. But also, some of you are feeling that if you were in another relationship, your person was giving to others and they had turned their back to you. Why do we have the chariot crowning? We've got the ten of wands. Um, it's too heavy where you're residing, where you've been stuck or any, if you were in a situation where there are choices, you can flip the energies. The chariot comes after, it comes after the lovers, which says a divine union or a choice. Difficult choices in love. But remember, it's the fire beneath your belly, because this turns into the Ace of Wands, which we see the Knight here. The Knight of Wands, which is Sagittarian energy for some of you. This is the fire under the belly. This is what, this is the, um, what powers up the chariot, the desire to connect, to have a new sexual connection. Some of you, you may have been dealing with someone that was not intimate with you anymore. That's the beginning of the end in any relationship. So this chariot is on its way to a new, a new environment, a new home. The fool's journey has ended. It is completing. We've got two cards of completion and change. So those of you that were not able to overcome obstacles... This is the end. For those of you that will be able to overcome obstacles, this is a brand new cycle. It will be different for each of you. Okay? I mean, the Queen of Wands, she's all about spicing up the bedroom. She's all about putting in the effort, showing that she is attracted. She puts in effort to attract others. Why do we have the Ten of Swords? Eight of Wands, this is change. Eight of Pentacles, lots of eights. You've been there, done that. 
and the Seven of Wands. For change to come, effort needs to be made. Um, someone is trying to perfect their lives moving forward before the changes. But there have been a lot of blockages and maybe someone even in denial that this is over. Eight of Wands speak to love messages, passionate messages through the internet. Someone may be up during the night connecting with someone else, which is also blocking this relationship because there are things that they're, face, that they're up against. Now, of course, this could be a fire sign, fire and earth, which I mentioned again. Why do we have the Eight of Swords? What's at the bottom? The Five of Cups, crying over the, that spilt milk, another element had the same was it was it a wa the water element I cannot remember yes I feel it was the water element I think they had a similar message let's see what this eight of swords the general message is we've got the two of cups there's new love there's a new connection and a lot of happiness could be with a Leo could be with a fire sign this is going to be true love. So someone is finding a way out of these blockages, out of this mental prison and onto their healing and onto hope where love is concerned. True love and truth. Now, new love could be with a water sign, could be with a fire sign. Remember, don't get stuck on the signs. I want to take one more on the Seven of Wands. And we've got the Page of Pentacles. This is like studying your future. This is a brand new day. A brand new day and something that is promised that will be long term, more grounded, more real. This is a message that comes in. I don't know, some of you may also um, have children. Um, but also this, this is like a fresh energy, a very fresh energy. And we see the peacock as well. The peacock does speak to competitive energies. Peacocks will go to, they will fight to death for their beloved. So maybe there was, maybe you you are in competition. Some of you are, I feel, not willing to fight anymore because you feel that there was a betrayal. Um, some of you are not going to make the effort. Maybe you feel like this is it, this is the end. If there was a lot of secrecy, a lot of betrayal. But, you know, the, the lucky clover is here and I do get luck with the, the peacock here. So some of you may be feeling quite lucky um, in the near future. After like a, a, a betrayal, after an ending, some of you could be connecting with someone that's a little bit more playful, more more grounded, more stable. Now, this could be something that's promised and that you're looking at. Yes, this could be a new home. Yes, this could also be a message that sort of clears the air for you, clears your mind about what you're going to do. And I'm wondering if someone is not doing their homework and figuring out that there has been betrayal, which you're going to find yourself in like a an opposition. But you're going to be called to action. Spirit is calling you to action. We've got the six and then the seven of wands. The action will be for a new beginning for yourself. It could be with another person. Remember the two of cups is here. But this could be just a new home, a new, because you are moving, remember. I don't know. Five of Cups at the foundation. I want to read the flexible, the flexible message. Wow. Wow. Let's read the relationship message. 
In every relationship, it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. See, this is going back to the fixed energies that I was talking about. Fixed is making, you know, fixed means I've made my mind up. Letting go of rigidity is what's required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time, do you? It's okay to come to a happy compromise. You can still get your needs met. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway. The appearance of this card in a reading could also signal that you have met someone new who may not be your type, but who will turn out to be so special that you can easily release your old ideas about what sort of partner is right for you. Be flexible. You'll be happy you made that choice. And I'm going to say also, those of you that keep going around the same cycle, you're know, being trying to be patient and you're thinking, okay, maybe we can mend this, maybe we can fix this. This is the rigidity. All the signs are showing you that something, something has come to a close. There's a new day for you, a new beginning. And doesn't matter how many times you've made that effort, there still is great love possible for you moving forward because you're going to heal yourself, you're going to detach from these chains that were holding you back. The chains could also be your rigidity and maybe seeing things from a different light, maybe not being so rigid, yes. Let's take some, some handwritten love messages. Now you could be dealing with another fixed sign. If this is a Leo, they're very fixed as well, which can speak to rigidity and stubbornness. You could be dealing with a Taurus. We've got Taurus here as well. Some things, whatever is not flexible will break and those chains are broken. Many of you are going to go through healing. New love is coming in. Some of you are leaving someone that was very rigid, very fixated for someone that's much more flexible, open-minded. I'm married. I lied to you. I'm sorry. Waiting for you to make your choice. I won't be waiting forever. There's the Leo card, the strength card. Someone, some of you have surpassed your strength. You don't even know how you did that. You, the effort you put in for this relationship, you surpassed your ability and your strength. So I'm going to congratulate you. But sometimes spirit says, if you've overpassed, you've bent over backwards and nothing can come of it, it's time to move on. You were cold, distant to me. I needed more passion. I have loved you from the moment I met you, but the problems in my life don't allow me to follow my heart right now. It won't be fair on you either. I got carried away. I didn't want to hurt you. I didn't, it didn't mean anything. For many of you, we, we do see betrayal here and third parties. That's why someone was cold. There are choices here. No one knows me better than you. This would be something that keeps keeps you uh, not being able to move away because you prefer the better the devil you know than the one you don't, right? That's fixated energies. Please forget me, it was a mistake. I have so much on my plate, I don't know if I can offer you anything. I have been through a lot. I have never loved like this before. We are so different and I don't know if this could ever work out. I don't know what to do. Why did you leave me? How could you? What went wrong? Forever yours. You see, that's fixated energy, surely. I'm now awakened. Now I see clearly you are the one for me. And I'm going to say, I see the illusion. I'm now awakened. Now I see clearly. I can see through the illusion and the betrayal. I knew you would break my heart. 
obviously this is someone that did not want to get into this relationship because they sense that their heart will be broken open your heart and talk truthfully to me talk to me and what is it that they're wanting to tell you i need time time to process to think please be patient with me what else did they do they want to talk about truthfully i will never forget you i will always love you okay well i haven't forgotten you either so let's meet up interesting I've missed you. Are you happy where you are? I always think of you. My beautiful air signs. Mercury is retrograde. Yes, past loves could be entering your life. Um, and maybe they have in the past, but some of you were blocked because of another relationship, your duties, whatever. This is more like now I'm following my heart. I'm following the person that's going to be truthful, the person that's going to, that is not going to have a chip on their shoulder, the person that is going to be confident, they're going to fit me like a glove, or their light will bring happiness to my life. Because I do see here you need healing, and the sun could be very healing. And interesting, as I'm saying that, the light got a little bit dim, so that's an interesting one. Anyway... I think I will leave it there. I want to thank you so much, so much. And you're going through a tower moment here. Something will be revealed to you. Well, a broken heart, a third party. I want to thank you so much, my beautiful air signs. Wishing you well. Lots of love, lots of light. It's not going to be an easy month. We see a lot of black cards. We do have the red as well here and there. So it's sort of balancing out. I'm wishing you well. Remember to take the messages with a grain of salt. And don't forget to join us on Patreon if you want to check out the rest of the love readings for April. Much love, much light, and wishing you all well. I will be back.